Here we go, bragging rights up for grabs on the ice tonight. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. let's do this. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Sharks start with possession as we are now underway. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Getzel's gonna play it against the half wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the wall. Here he is, shot right in front. He was locked in there. Loose puck battle along the boards. Let's get the call. About halfway through that play, he knows he's in trouble. He's reached out, grabbed onto his opponent. The penalty soon to fall. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Oh, I love playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys can't get on the ice fast enough for their first opportunity. The Penguins have it behind the net. Nice bank pass off the boards. To the front! Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick pass to Carter. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Mulkins moving it ahead. Oh, huge open ice hit. Trying to get it out of their own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Here's a short pass to Malkin. Turns it away. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Penalty coming up here. The Sharks will serve two for holding. Latang's a great skater, even when he's backing it up, guys. His in-reverse zone ability means he can face the puck while retreating and read the play. The Penguins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moving into the attacking zone. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. The Penguins get off to a great start here, leading 1-0. Well, they get everybody through the lineup, and now they're on the board already. Great start for them. Nice pass. San Jose's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. The Penguins have it behind the cage. And he connects with the long bomb. Moves it quickly over to McGinn. And that's blocked. And a great save. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Gensel's got such an accurate shot, guys. That's his snipe zone ability, but the key to that accuracy is shooting when the puck is flat and settled on the ice. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Nice job to escape the zone. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Quick feed to Kapanen. San Jose is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Pittsburgh's got the puck. That pass doesn't go. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Pittsburgh's won the draw. And he got right over top of that one. That's a big faceoff win for him. Play whistle dead offside the call.
Couture's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Pittsburgh's got it from behind the net. Can't get it to go. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. Couture is depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. Crosby's known for his beauty backhand zone ability, guys. He's got great... He scores! That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a short-handed marker here. Couture's recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the faceoff. San Jose's won the draw in the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to Couture. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Crosby's ready to take the draw here on this power play. San Jose's won the draw. Trying to clear, and they do just that. Well, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. There's a shot, wide of the net. The Penguins' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the short-handed goal. A sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Grabs control of it at the point. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Fires one on goal with the stop. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Oh, just a great heads up play by Kane. Play is called for offside. Crosby's able to fool goalies when he switches to his backhand, guys. His control, accuracy, and power with that shot is quite impressive, and that's why we call it his beauty backhand zone ability. Picked up along the wall by Carlson. Steps across the blue line. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it to Mulsers. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Takes a shot. Denied with the blocker. San Jose's got possession of the puck. The Sharks play it along the boards. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Marino. Rodriguez moves it into the attacking end. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Penguins have it against the wall. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Carlson's got it in the defensive end. From one point man to another. And that goes off a player in front. Pittsburgh's gonna play it along the blue line. Here's a chance. Oh, what a denial by Reimer. Broken up by Meyer. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. I know the coach is loving this offensive zone pressure. He's just telling his player, do it again next shift. Balsers has the puck against the half wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Passes over to Malkin. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Harder you try, sometimes the worse it gets. Maybe just make the simple play, and you'll probably advance things a little better. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Tosses it to Latang. Quick pass to Zucker. San Jose's ready to go on the attack. Shot! That's kicked away with the pad by DeSmith. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And now he angles it across to Latang. Unable to reach that one. Goalie plays it up. 
Nice feed from the right wing. Takes the shot and makes the save. There's always a next level to making a save. Step two is get the puck out of danger. He does a nice job there. Takes it to the net. Misses. He doesn't expect this puck here, James. And as a result, he just whips the shot wide. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway been a fun one so far neither side giving an inch still tied here as we open things up in the second that's it he scores and their bench jumped right up full teams go the longer you stay locked in a tie luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory He's got the momentum of being in stride, and then he delivers that snapshot. Rifles it right by the goaltender. The Penguins are up by one here in the second. I've liked a lot of their game, but it's like they can't get these other guys to go away. It stays close, but at least they're playing from in front. Slides it diagonally to Hurdle. Moved out in front, and that's broken up. Here they come on the attack. Goes right to the crease. Stones him with the blocker. He shovels that backhand at the net, but he's really good at it. One of the best in the league at shooting the puck from the backhand side. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Quick feed down low. Quick stop. Oh, that hits the cage. That's using your head. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Malkin's got it behind the net. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Hammers one from the point. He scores! Well, I like the way they stayed aggressive here, James. After scoring once, they didn't just settle the game down. They went after it again. He had enough time to wind up for the slapper, and he zips it past the goaltender on the stick side. The Penguins have gone up by two here in this second period. Really like the way they've gone about their business. Yes. They haven't lost any of their aggressiveness. They've still stayed and tried to forecheck. I like it. They've preserved this two-goal lead. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot. Oh, what a great save by DeSmith. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to Carter. Takes the feed. Takes it to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck to force the bodies in front of him. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Gensel's among the league leaders in plus minus. I gotta be honest with you, James. This was a list I didn't get on very often. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Puck scooped up by Fadoon. Here's a chance! And makes the save. The Penguins have it now. Kane's got the puck through the neutral zone. San Jose's on the attack. Poked away by Fadoon. Pass right in front! Scores on the one-timer! The Sharks seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Great reach with the poke check. The Sharks gain control of the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Magda. Moves the puck. Aston Reese setting up against the wall. The Penguins take it from the side. And they keep the pressure on. 
scooped up along the wall by Cogliano. Benito's got it on the offensive end. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Snaps it onto the net. Denies him. Nieto stick handling in his own zone. Slides it over to Shimmick. Up along the wing. And now he moves it to Nieto. Grabs it and rips it. Denies him. He got all of it. Couldn't complete the pass. Here's the shot. The Smith's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Latang's physical play will put him among the league leaders in hits year after year. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Sharks make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Burns slides the puck along the line. To the low slot! Whoa. He scores! Yeah, somebody punch you in the mouth, you gotta punch them back, and that's exactly what they've done. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Pittsburgh now extended the lead to two in the late stages of this second period. Hear a lot from their bench, and everybody's saying, don't sit back. So they want to make sure they get into the intermission, at least where they are. Ferraro's got the puck in his own zone. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. From one end of the blue line to the other. The Sharks have it now. Sends a pass over. Across the line from center. Here's a short pass to Hurdle. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Gains the zone. And that one's broken up. And nearing the final minute of the second. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Late goings of this period. The Penguins have all the momentum right now, leading by two. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. And that was stopped. The Smith's not really held up his end of the bargain tonight. Every shot is an adventure in there. He's lucky his team scoring goals tonight. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. All right, here we go. A big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot. Scores! The captain delivers! He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The room wasn't there until the goalie dropped into the butterfly, maybe a little early. Opened up some space up top. The Penguins seem to be playing right to the final whistle here tonight, Ray. Yeah, everybody's having fun. Everybody's getting points, and they are steamrolling their opponent. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Mulkin's going to play it from the back of the cage. Huge steal in his own end. Tries to get the puck to LeBanc. Flips it up to net. And there's the save. Grabbed along the boards by Latang. Carries it across the line. Right on the doorstep. Scores! And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if the goal scoring doesn't slow down here. Man, his teammate could get rich with passes like this. What a move that opens up everybody. And then he lays off a simple one for him. Pittsburgh's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. 
And now it's grabbed by Denzel. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Man, this ice is smooth. You see how quickly he caught and released that puck? Sat flat for him, and it's a really accurate delivery. Scores! Well, when it's your night, it's your night! Pretty clearly, there's times when a player gets all kinds of chances and can't put it in the ocean. This one, everything goes in for him. That's his third tonight. This is how you create the offense. I mean, you can't be digging the puck out of your skates all day. Tape to tape, off you go. They can't recover defensively, and it ends up in the net. His pass was right on target and helped set up that goal there. That's his tape to tape superstar ability, and it was a pass that was not only accurate, but easy to handle. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by people. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Chaps the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Kane. He was totally locked in on that play. And it's a quick pass to Carter. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Hammers one. Turns it away on the slap shot. The Smith's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a chance right in front. He scores! The SoCal kid delivers! Jason Sucker! This is almost a tease for the goalie. He can't quite get his legs together gets beaten through the five hole. Pittsburgh's on fire tonight, and they show no signs slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Quick feed to Vlasic. Puck dumped in. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Rust. Takes the feed, and he can't get it off. The Sharks will play it in their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Quick pass to... Scores! And Steel City's loving that! Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Penguins are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they built such a large margin, you can use your whole bench and coast it in. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Benino. Came up with the save on that play. Slides it on over to Lafferty. The Sharks have it behind the cage. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Drives to the crease. Fantastic save. Hill's so sharp on this. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Here we go, on man rush. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Big time stop there. Picked up along the wall by McGinn. Denies him again. He scores! On the rebound. Goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Pittsburgh's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick 
feed to Heinen. From the right side, they gain the zone. Center down in front. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Pass it up ahead. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Slides the puck over. Centering pass. And that's blocked. still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the oh, end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Puck grab by Shimmick. There's the whistle. We've got it offside. The Blues are next up on the schedule. Some guys will know that. Some guys just leave it until they get through the current game. I, I think it's better to know a little bit about what's coming down the road. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. San Jose's got possession of the puck. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. San Jose's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Let's it go. Great save by DeSmith. Moved in front. There's another stop. Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. All alone. Once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so decisive on what he wants, and he puts it away for the goal. Such a strong move to the net. Watch how he gets his body between the puck and the defender. Nobody can reach far enough to get the puck off his stick and then he focuses enough to get it into the net. Pittsburgh's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Loose it to Latang. Cuts to the paint, and he's able to handle that one. Everybody hesitates for a half a second when they hear the puck hit the goaltender's mask. They all know what that one must feel like. Puck sent over to Gensel. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Gensel's trying to change this game all by himself. That's not going to work. I mean, I, I don't fault the effort. It's just simple. It's sometimes a lot better. Takes a hit on the play. Kane's picking up steam. Here's a shot. Turned aside with that glove by DeSmith. Oh, he's back at the bench now grabbing a drink of water. That's 49 career goals for him after that beauty. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Here's a shot. Denied by the glove, but the puck hops along. And that'll do it tonight. Getzel's team gets the win, and a big part of that, his hat-trick performance. He's so good when he gets the puck on his stick. He's got a real sense of when to deliver it, and he was lights out tonight. They talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport. This is a perfect example of that step forward. Well, when the players started saluting the fans, you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase. I think it's a great thing to do, and look how much fun everybody's having. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.